Got it. Two in which was an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. It was. People are talking about him potentially being a first round draft pick in 2012. Here's Yakupov with a snapshot that misses on the near side. And the three Russian goals that Russia scored yesterday came from the defense. Because their net miners and defensemen that have really been playing quite shift out he has to me been their top four because he has been determined over, one shot with a man advantage here's Gerrigan trying to cut in front of the net and he can't get a shot away Kuznetsov with the outlet pass to Yakubov back to Kuznetsov shoots it confidence playing in a physical game so now Russia back at even strength kill off another one Italy killing has been perfect Yakubov Hustling back was forced off of the puck there by the youngster Teddy Blugers. School of Minnesota produced a couple of players. More than a couple, some superstars. Vinny Crosby and TSN Mobile TV. Ozhiganov gets his shot through. Ozhiganov scored a goal. Zaligan off the boards, got it to Koklachev, and Yakupov is away. Yakupov tries to go wide there on the Latvian defenseman. Hey, 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 hey. And it goes into the corner where it's taken over there by Teddy Blugers. Blugers at center ice and beyond. Puts it in on Vasilevsky. And he goes in after the loose puck in the corner. Good little rush there by Blugers. Here's Koklachev. Turns it over. And he gives it up to Yevpilov. Yevpilov's got a couple of assists for Latvia. He's wearing number 28. Here's Taligan of the Barry Colts to Yakubov of the Sarnia Sting. Back to Taligan. He's in. Stopped. And the puck rolls. Now when you talk about Nail Yakupov and his great speed, he can leave defensemen standing still. But as he attacks here, he's managing his speed, which really opens it up for Taligan. And great save there. Getting over there with his right leg and just really shutting it down and not giving to Ligan, any chance to get the puck up or under him, and a real strong play all the way around. But it's up against the level of players that's played at high levels and are accustomed to it, so he's got a double challenge coming to this tournament. And he's going through what a lot of young, undrafted players go through when they come to this tournament to get a lot of media attention in the North American market. And he's from a non-traditional, you know, not one of the hockey powers, so he's even more sought after in terms of wanting everybody wanted to talk to him. He speaks good English. One of the things that young players have to deal with off of the ice. Zaliga drops it off for Koklachev. Takes a shot. Add a little bit of determination. We're hoping it's infectious. Here's Koklachev. A draft pick of the Boston Bruins. Overskates the puck and Latvia has a chance to bring it out. Rolls to the over the line. Got to make a move there on it and keep it. He'll leave it there for his teammate Zinich. In behind the net, they swipe it in front and it comes free for Taligan. Taligan goes over to the right side boards now to try to get that puck back, but he gets up to Yevpilov. Here's Kalnich in front for Yevpilov. Can't find it. Russia turns it back the other way. Yakubov with Taligan. Yakubov in shoots. Saved by Muzlikic. The only sniper he hasn't stopped yet is... Passed by the, uh, Yakupov, but this is dangerous. And you're facing a guy that knows how to put the puck in the net, holds his ground, flicks out the pad. Hold. I think the biggest thing is he's, he's not... That's why we expect more from him. Ozhiganov to Yakubov. I'm sure what he was doing there. He's trying to kick the puck back to the point. And Tiepen is at one point. Here's Taligan, gives it to him. Ozhiganov with a hard drive. First leakage makes that stop. Ivan Taligan now with the puck. Taligan quickly in front. Kokochev, Yakubov! What a save by Bruce Leakage! Outstanding! Who is this kid? And keep it. Koklachev, he's in, shoots, and he just misses. Ozhiganov chips it off the glass. Taligan now centers it. 
And goes off the Manis and he gets it out of Oja can up now. Look out, almost ran into his own guy. And Tiefen's got it now. Cuts in, lost it. And Your scouts in different areas haven't seen. Well, we'll see what happens the next 40. 19 seconds to go still in this Russian power play. Arzamatsev gives it up to Yakupov with three shots. I beg your pardon, two shots in the first. Kucherov had three. Yakupov back the line to Arzamatsev. Back to Niall Yakupov. Cross ice pass. There's the shot. Score! And I think that that just sets Elvis off his positioning just enough for this puck to go over his shoulder. You see it just kind of hesitate there with that. And then he flips it up over the top of the net. And I think it was just enough for Elvis to overplay it. Just enough. And I love the way Yakupov passed that puck across. That was a nice pass. One of his own players going by, but regardless, it's 2-0, a power play goal for the Russians. And here they come again. Taligan, Yakupov loads up with a one-timer, didn't get... And you look at now Yakupov, well, you look at Elvis here. And one of the things about, I, I'm a big believer in scouting. If you play well on the ice, the scout's eyes will find you. By the defenseman on that power play. Quick up, took a steps off, moves in, pass attempt, is broken up by Freebergs. Taligan dug it out, here's a chance, and they score! Now Yakupov recognizes that this is a great opportunity. Off his stick quickly, right to Kuznetsov coming back to the net, and you're right, no chance for Elvis on that one. And is that the goal that wakes up the Russian captain, gets them going? I know for Valerie Bragan and Russian fans, they're hoping. Kuznetsov is the only returning member from the gold medal team a year ago. One goal. Centering pass for Yakupov, kept in at the near point, and Tiefen puts it back in there. Keep on coming. Here's Yakupov on the loose puck. Lost his footing. Into the corner it goes. Mikhail Grigorenko left in a lot of physical. One of the best players from last year's World Juniors in his third overall is on his game tonight. No points coming in. Two great goals tonight. And lots of time to add to Highlight real saves, and he's made some other ones as well, but this Russian attack is busted through. Barbashev heard Yakupov calling for it for the pass. Yildar Isangulov, who plays for the junior team in Ufa. And a chance right in front. Vasilevsky makes a save. Big collision just at the Russian blue line. Help. Yakupov. Turnover. Oh, he tried to set up to Ligon, and that is a great poke check there. But to get the stick out there, this is just as important as making a save to deflect it away. Koklachev lost that draw there to Strope. Even it. Out of his own zone. 25 points for the Oil Kings in the Western Hockey League. Still with it, comes into the high slot, rolls away from him, and goes to Klavich. Even it. All the way around the edge, Taligan beats it there, but then turns it over to Pelsch. Pelsch around the net. Knocked off of his skates and rolls into the corner. Ozhiganov with Strope centers, and Kalnich just misses. Here's Salia, he winds and fires, and Vasilevsky makes the save. 20th save of the game for him. Flavich, upended in the corner. Ozhiganov, good pass up ahead to Tuligan. Yakubov in there against Salia, he dumps him. Yakubov almost tucks it in. How about that from Niall Yakubov? Taligan buys some time. That is what Niall Yakubov does right there. It, it is. Uh, you see the speed, but he's a determined player that'll use his body. He's not afraid of the contact. He gets involved in the quickness to know what he's potentially what's there, the options, bringing it to the net. He wears number 10. Slides it over to the streaky Kulikov. Six points 
and counting, and they're looking to get more. Here's Saligan shoots it. Right now, the Russians are saying it is an ankle injury. He's uncertain about his status at this time about Russia's next game, which is New Year's Eve against Sweden. And that's a big hole. Yes, because as good as the... This is not Sweden, this is not USA or Canada that they're facing. Back to the line. It is five plus periods that he's played now. Here's Yakupov, drops it off. Kokolchev right and scores! You see Yakupov using that speed, but then showing off the great poison. Waiting, he looks like he may look at Taligan, but finds the late arriving Kokolchev. Kokolchev knows how to finish. And that's the third point for Yakupov. But he was out there, he was involved. Wow. Here's Yakupov. Probably thinking, you know, I'd like to get me some of this. Nothing Russia. Six goals scored in their first two games. They're almost going to double that. I, I, you know what? I'm, I'm going to go under the limb and say they're going to double that tonight. I don't think... Kovlachev, he's going to walk in. Feathers it in there for Tulegan, and he slips it past the... Tulegan. Out in front, looking for Yakupov. Look out, there's Horzaganov rings it off the post. That was almost number 12. And Tiefen. The only thing that's missing right now is sweet Georgia Brown. Good pass up ahead to Koklachev. Koklachev trying to turn the corner and skating against Solia. And that was shut down by Christian Pelsch. Bot comes free, near side. Pelsch has shown a lot of hustle in both games we've seen against RFP. And he's got the puck now. Feeds it over to Nevis. Pelsch has got major junior North American experience. And it shows, doesn't it? It does. You know, we saw him earlier take a puck to the net. Yakubov to Taligan. Taligan with a head of steam. He caught an edge and then goes crashing into the end boards. Yakubov takes over. Yakubov drops it off for Zhelnikov. His drive is blockered down by Merzlinki. Playing in the net. Blue Jersey in front and a great chance there for Lipsburgs. And he couldn't finish. Here's Yakubov. Makes a move. Niall Yakupov with that heavy snapshot of his. Cutters leakage up high. They're right out there trying to find two. We should get off with a drive from the point. So Lee gets on the loose puck. Russia's power play is four for four. They take this one free. And Latvia's penalty killing his team in. The poor percentage. Gerrigsen is dumped by Ojeganov. Some hits in this game as well. Here comes Yakupov. Yakupov dangles his way in, stops up, flips it back to the line for Antifa. Oh, get out for the drive, tipped by Koklachev on the way by. Oh, off looking for Tuligan. Broken stick is on the ice. One of the penalty killers for Latvia is without a stick. It's Klavich. In front, Koklachev. Apalkov, Barbashev with a wrister off of the end boards. Azamatsev. And banked off the boards, Ahar Azamatsev with a bullet drive that is way wide of the mark. Here's Yakupov. Niall Yakupov back into the corner, then he heads for the net. There's a quick shot. And a in the corner goes, flipped up in the air and out to center ice. Off for Zimich. Soft shot in on net. Just over three minutes to go. Day off for Russia tomorrow. And then the night game, the late game, and the last. Sit back and watch. In both groups being decided on that night. Yakubov dishes off for Kokolchev. And turning it back the other way is Gergensen. Gergensen on his backhand. 
I don't even lefty. see net with him. No, he's, he's 6'3", 200 pounds. He's a, he's a big guy. Here's a big drive.